this edition of gems is shot at united kingdom welcome to the new edition a couple of minutes back i received an email from one of the patients his email was fairly a long one he had a major concern i am getting treated from a doctor i am on insulin pump therapy i am having type 2 diabetes for the past 26 years despite switching over to insulin pump therapy my hb1c at present is 7.3 percentage i am not at all happy what should i answer is an hb1c around 7 abnormal for a patient with a history of diabetes of more than 20 years with history of one heart attack but still very active energetic and his concern probably is shared by lot of other diabetes patients around the world now there is access to internet for all diabetes patients who would like to know the normal values who would like to know details about the hb1c hb1c as you may agree is the average blood glucose over the past 3 months in subjects without diabetes the hb1c should be below 5.7 percentage in pre diabetes hb1c is between 5.7 and 6.4 obviously when is 6.5 or more it is diagnostic of type 2 diabetes and here the concern of a type 2 diabetes patient is despite being on insulin pump therapy his hb1c is still more than 7 and his concern is a serious concern he is not happy with the treatment he is not happy with the diabetes doctor treating him he is monitoring the blood sugars regularly he is exercising daily he has modified his lifestyle according to the instructions from the diabetes team still the a1c is high but dear friends an a1c of around 7 or even an a1c of above 8 can be a normal or an acceptable hb1c for that particular individual i repeat though the normal hb1c for a person without diabetes is less than 5.7 in type 2 or type 1 diabetes patients on treatment the target a1c is fixed by the diabetes team and varies according to several parameters the hba1c varies from person to person the target hba1c the fasting sugar the postprandial sugars are all set by the treating diabetes team and this can be reviewed periodically if somebody is having an a1c which is 11 or 12 it is certainly abnormal but if somebody is having an a1c of 8 or 7.5 that could be a normal value for him <coughs> and that could be the value which is designated for him by his 
diabetes treatment team. A1Cs are set at a higher level at extreme age groups like in children and in the elderly and in those with multiple comorbid illnesses and in those with a tendency for hypoglycemia because low sugars can be extremely dangerous. It can be more dangerous than a persistent hyperglycemia. So if you are diabetic for more than 20 years and if you have comorbidities or if you feel as if your diabetes physician has decided on a higher A1C target for you, be happy because it is for your safety and nothing is going to happen to you. Thank you very much for all your comments and suggestions on our GEMS videos posted in the internet. We will select the subjects in future based on your requirements. Thank you very much and until we meet next time, bye bye from the JDC Diabetes GEMS team.